Hello guys, Lloyd from Bisfo. This video is specifically for um, the testers and it could be quite technical. But what we are looking at is um, online payments. And what we mean by online payments is we want to ring up an item and instead of the client paying cash uh, or card present, uh, tapping the card or check, we actually want to see if we can get an online confirmation of the payment. The reason why you would do that, this could be through your e-commerce stores, payments, uh, e uh, wallets, uh, clients sitting in store and actually just paying uh, via your online interface. And basically you will then try and see if you can um, access that payment. So it's quite easy to set up, um, but this video is a bit more in detail for testing. So what I've done now is I've clicked on the online payments and I'm getting a status which says open amount allocate is zero. That means there's no payment allocated to this transaction. I just want to confirm what this invoice number is. Um, five double eight. Let me just see that again. There we go. I'm going to do another one. I would just want to show the message um, when it's not synced. So let's go to new. Uh, let's do infinity and I'm going to click pay confirmation so invoice not found um, is a typical message so this information is not yet synced um, basically I've worked too quickly um, every three minutes the information is synced or if you have the following setting on the information will be synced um, when you save your sale let's have a look at that setting So on our integration, we've got online payments. Um, that's not the one I'm looking for. Here's a setting. Trigger sync on save. So it'll speed up your sync uh, quite a bit. So if we look again, um, 589, uh, if I try to process this payment, I'm getting a different message. In other words, um, it's ready for payment allocation. Um, all right, so let's have a look. Um, I'm first just going to show you the integration and then I'll show you how to activate that. Uh, on the integration side, there's actually two sides to it. Uh, first, what you want to do is you want to see if you have an um, invoice that is open for payment allocation. Okay, so I'm just doing testing on my local box, um, but we'll share the, the URL for you, with you. And what we're saying is we're looking at uh, 588. Uh, I've got a token already set up. I'll show you that afterwards and I click on send What I can see here is that we've got an open invoice meaning that um, we should be able to allocate payments to it Please note you can always allocate payments. We'll always track it uh, We cannot really prevent a third party from uh, accept accepting payments, but we will track the payment Allocated means that there is no money allocated to this invoice already uh, there's no unique ID, in other words, there's no payment um, reference, and um, yeah, this is uh, just some basic, basic information you can save. So typically what you want to do is you want to have a look at this status, confirm it is open, once it's open, get your amount, and then uh, process that amount. Okay, so I've switched my URL to pause payment, um, this is the body I want to send. Again, I've got my auth ID, uh, invoice number is important, uh, 588 for the specific branch. And what we want to do, so I'm going to do double payment, let's go 80 bucks. Um, there's no points, so um, just 80 and I'm going to send this transaction. Let's have a look at the response. Uh, the response saying success, payment was logged, uh, allocated 80, so it's accumulating all the payments. If we go back to our pause, we try this again. Uh, there's no response, so let's just have a look. Let me just double check my invoice number for the specific one. Uh, 588, this is the actual one I processed. Let's have a look. Uh, online payment, there we go. Tender amount is not enough. So as a test, what I will do is just process that again. So next amount I'm going to do, just want to make sure it's in commas, and we're just going to process the 50 cents. Okay, so one, there we go, there's a 585, and let's process that. 
as mentioned um, you can see this is your allocated so it's accumulated you can post more than this it could be a tip um, so we won't block you we'll just simply accept that and let's have a look uh, confirm online payment and there we go I can now process receipt and my transaction will close so how do we set this up for testing I'm on my local machine that's why the URL looks like that um, gotta click on uh, let's go to our integration integration we want to have a look at these two so the provider the third party um, that is actually processing the payment they would use this uh, this is my branch one they would get their own token um, and we're interested in this one the pause view the online payment that would be this token so I'll copy the token make it active click on update and then in my program options what I want to do is go to uh, program options integration uh, online payments I'll paste my token here and once done you can maybe just select an invoice number to test and see if you get a response so guys that's it from the testing and the integration so just to summarize you've got two calls that you need to add um, uh, which is your third party and you need to activate your token once activated um, you can continue to test and see if you can uh, pick up the payment process from your third party any questions uh, please pop us a mail at lloyd at